Well, from a man who was a titan of the newspaper industry to an artist who's making a big splash in his business. You've probably seen his work all over Ireland, but not known that it was his. Liam Garrity donned his overalls to put us in the picture. From Letterkenny to Lismore, Mount Melick to Monaghan, there's just no escaping the fact. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. And one of the top culprits of spreading the Christmas cheer is illustrator and window painter Dave O'Rourke. We're just about to go into uh, a spa, and so what's the plan today? So my plan is to write Happy Christmas uh, or Merry Christmas. Maybe pop a little sand in the middle and a couple of uh, bells or you know holly or something around the edge. It's up to me, whatever I feel like doing at the time. Dave has made a business out of painting Santa Claus's snowmen and reindeers on pub and shop fronts all across the country. But like a lot of startups, it began from home. I began doing murals for um, my brother's kids. The subject matter is always determined by the client. And in this particular case, it was my four-year-old niece who was absolutely uh, determined to have Nemo on her wall. So I had no choice in that respect. But it wasn't until he moved to Calgary in Canada that he realised there was a business to be made from window painting. They have a festival over there called the Stampede, sort of their version of Paddy's Day. Everybody gets bananas drunk and uh, they have like uh, cattle races and all sorts of crazy stuff. It's just a, a big party day. But window painting is huge for that. In the run up to that, everyone, almost everyone gets their windows painted. And if you don't, just you're the odd one out. So I was seeing all this get done and uh, I think I could do that, you know. And uh, the money people were being paid to do it, if you had any talent whatsoever, um, you could make a, a killing over the week. So that was my inspiration to come back and set up a business. I set up a website, got business cards printed, and the business just kind of grew. All the little things that you need to do as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, just started to happen. is uh, cordon off an area just so nobody gets paint on their clothes or whatever and then I get in trouble. So uh, I've just taken a few chairs here and I've just kind of created a little barrier for myself. So now it's just me in the window. Dave's most ambitious project to date was when a major retailer asked him to paint the windows for every one of their outlets across the country. Yeah, we actually, I drew a map uh, with little X's on it and times and dates because I had to, everything had to be cleared with the head honchos in, in Harvey Norman. So I'd say, right, I'll be in Cork today, I'll be in Kerry tomorrow, we work our way to Waterford, then we're going to up the N9 to wherever. And uh, we were pretty much almost every county in Ireland over the space of 10 days. Yeah, it was exciting. And so you've got a, you've got various paints. You've got an apple here. <laughs> <for lunch Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the teacher. Yeah, I have a couple of palettes with pre-mixed colours, uh, various types of markers, paintbrushes. While Dave has booked up almost every day of November and December, we wondered if Mr Claus delivered enough to keep the wolf from the door. It keeps a roof over my head and has done for the last five or six years. My main um, drive is not necessarily uh, money or making money. It's just to be independent, to be able to run my own business without having to answer to anybody else. So will you be sick of windows by Christmas Eve? Yep, I usually get burnt out. <laughs> and then January I just kind of roll around having nightmares about snowmen and Santa Claus and, and then I kind of get it out of my system for another year, so yeah. Liam Garrity reporting there. And that is all we have time for this week. Uh, Marion Fanukin is coming up next. And until the same time next week, from us here at The Business, thanks for listening. Bye-bye. The Business on RTE Radio 1 with Vodafone, the smarter network for your startup business. Vodafone.ie forward slash startups. And The Business is an old yard production for RTE Radio 1.